After playing the new CS Co mod, my friend noticed how T-sided the map seemed to be. They kind of thought that the bots are the reason behind this, and they're just stronger when they're terrorists. How stupid. Right? To answer this, I went into Classic Dust 2 and Mirage and simulated 25 halves each, on expert difficulty. To ensure one team didn't have all the good bots, after each half I would reload the map in order to randomize the lineups. After that, it was just a matter of recording the halves. The results were actually pretty surprising. In total, this was 750 rounds, which would give us a pretty good idea on how good the bots are. The T-side overwhelmingly won out, winning 39 out of 50 halves played. But that's not all. They absolutely destroyed the CT side whenever they won. I could just tell you the numbers, but I think this graph could show their dominance more. If the terrorist team won more rounds, that means their little color will extend farther down. A team won if they got to 8 points or crossed this line at 7.5 rounds. You can kind of see that whenever the CTs rarely won, they won by a tiny margin. Going into the actual numbers, the max CTs ever won by was 10 to 5, whereas the terrorists consistently scored 11 and 12 halves. In game, it was a pretty interesting scene. Every time the CTs had a large lead, around 7 to 10, they would suddenly throw the game and lose all the rest of the rounds. I wouldn't worry about it too much, it's probably just due to the law of averages and not because Valve or Zool hate CTs. After seeing this, I wanted to see if the same thing applied in CSGO, since it's really the whole base of CSGO. Sure enough, the same results applied, except this time, it's even more extreme. The CTs only won 3 out of 50 halves, with each being 8 to 7. I'm not sure why it was significantly less this time, maybe I just wanted to make more shocking results. In the rounds the terrorists won, they continued to destroy. They even managed to get two 50 0s something that the CSGO terrorists got close to but never could accomplish. In total, out of 1,500 rounds, the terrorists won over 1,000 of them. Of course, this was only on Dust2 and Mirage, and it would be interesting to test on different maps considering the structures of these two are pretty similar. But for right now, I'm satisfied with this. It took quite a while to get these. So this raises a question. Why? First, I need to get out of the way that it isn't just terrorists being coded stronger. Despite these averages being far from 50-50, the halves themselves were very balanced, even on both games. Next, I wanted to see, since the M4 is weaker than the AK damage-wise, that this could be the reason why terrorists are better, since it seems that 2-3 to three of the team's guns in normal play were AKs. Testing this, again, came up short with any team being dominant. The one that I thought was most plausible is that the overall guns on T-side are better than the CTs. To do this, I constantly gave both teams enough to buy their preferred weapons and whatever they needed. Let the brawl begin. This was a bit more interesting, but I still don't think it's the answer. It seems like the results were more polarizing, as I had less 8 to 7 scores as I did 10 to 5s. Still, it seemed to be about the same amount, so I couldn't draw anything significant from this. One cool thing I noticed were how many T rounds were won in a row. If this was a 50-50 split in terms of who won, then the chance of this was 1 out of 2,000, which is 4 times less likely than opening a knife according to this spreadsheet. Neat. The last thing I could do before pinning it down that Terracide is just easier for bots in CS is just testing economy. It would be the normal game in that same arena without the money applied. This was the most interesting out of the control test. The results had huge outliers, I think. It seemed obvious that the CT side was a lot stronger based on the halves one, but after the start all the data seemed to plateau at around 7-8 on CSGO. On CSGO though, it was back on T side. I would say based on the scores again that there is no significant leaning in this test. So then what is causing the score difference in real maps? I think it's just due to how CS works and how bots group together. If T's get the bomb planted with 5 people, I think it's very difficult for the CTs to retake due to the choke points all 5 can watch. Since bots usually start in groups, you can see this trend where there will either be mass confrontations or the CTs will just whiff the terrorists and need to retake. Due to this, I believe the terrorists have an advantage just because they can plant the bomb usually without too much trouble. And that usually gets most of the hard work done. It's kind of an underwhelming answer, but I believe it's the only thing that it could be. So this kind of answers the question, but not what you would think I would say. While bots together are T-sided, at least in the maps I've tested, there is no stat that makes them stronger. And rather, it's how bots play together to make the sided score. This means an individual bot won't be better on one side, since the sideness was due to how bots play, and the four humans that will tag along with this bot will play very differently. Number-wise, in the maps I've tested, terrorists win usually double the rounds versus counter-terrorists, with an average of a 10 to 5 half. Control-wise, it's pretty clear that the engagements are 50-50 when the guns are on the same tier, along with the bots. Even in larger controlled groups, it seems to be about 50-50, but more testing would be needed to save this with confidence. But right now, I'm fine with this. I measured 4,500 rounds in total to get this answer, and I'm going to sleep on my keyboard now.